welcome to the Manifestation Project. So this is a powerful portal that I wanted to share with you, and you are about to experience a divine formula that I have applied to my process, my creations, and it works. So this video is going to introduce you to like my way of vibing with it, okay? And then the videos to follow is me breaking down my formula bit by bit by bit, which eventually leads you into a really beautiful, um, what I call mental alchemy meditation and clearing, which helps you clear any distortions to your manifestation process, right? Now, I believe that there has to be a very, very powerful structure to assist the very, very powerful energy and frequency of creation, right? We are imbalanced. When we when we can't manifest, it's because we are imbalanced. So what I mean by that is you could be very much head in the clouds, you know, just too much in the stars, constantly creating, never actually bringing it into physical form, full of ideas, gets you so overwhelmed, Get, you get all kind of riled up and then there's so much coming through, you do nothing, right? So that's kind of like what we call the divine feminine because she's all about the creation codes, the playing, the intuition, the downloads, the channel. She's the one that gets clogged because it's just too much and a lack of presence of grounding. So now if we come down to the grounding, that's the divine masculine. The divine masculine provides a very powerful template essentially for her to land into, okay? That's how it's supposed to work. But this is where your divine masculine can get in the way if it's in the shadow, too controlling, a bit of a bully, um, kind of like the systems are too like, you know, tight. She doesn't want to land in that. She doesn't trust him because she's like, I'm not going to go down there. He's going to completely kill my vibe and I'm not going to be able to do this. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So there's like a, a disconnect between the two. So the distortions can very much prevent the manifestation process. So that's where we need to start. So that is why I've I've actually shared with you this, this really, really beautiful tutorial meditation on how to alchemize negative thought processes into positive ones. And it works very much with the um, principle, this is the hermetic teachings now, the principle of mentalism, because your, your mind can create a lot of, a lot of noise and it can actually be your biggest hindrance. So belief comes from the mind, right? From the mental body. So if you do not believe in what you are invocating and declaring and calling in or up, then the mind is not backing up what the heart is feeling. The, the heart's feeling there's no way that I deserve this. And the mind's also going, yeah, it's not going to work. Do you know what I mean? So we've got to bring these two together so they work together, so they are aligned. So this is the principle of, of mentalism. So how do we do that? Well, we use the mental alchemy meditation to clear any such distortions. And the way we do this, which will be explained in the meditations, is, for example, self-doubt. Okay, It's a big, big killer self-doubt to anything, right? Just keeps you concrete, cemented, nothing happens. So self-doubt, okay, is a non-belief in yourself and in the magic, right? It's not going to happen. But self-doubt originally came from trust. So imagine that self-doubt and trust are both one. They are just two varying, varying aspects of each other, okay, which also taps into the principle of polarities. They are opposite ends of the same thing. So when did doubt, um, or rather trust, when did trust slowly get distorted, things happen to you for your past lives, this life, until eventually it got so battered and knocked around the place that eventually it arrived at self-doubt. So we're sitting at our lowest vibration of something very powerful here. So what we want to do is we want to work with that self-doubt. And through alchemy, we bring it all the way up and we raise the energy of self-doubt until we can bring it up to here, which is trust. And this energy field that you see around me, this is, this is trust. This is your truth. This is your power. Trust is the original form of that negative emotion. So we just need to upgrade it and bring it back home to, to join your energy field. And now you're strong AF and you can now, you're in alignment, right? So that is kind of in a brief way how the mental alchemy works, okay? So that's how we clear the distortions. Now, as I've said, you know, your creative energy, okay, your ideas, your channels, that is the divine feminine. She needs to land into a powerful structure, which is the divine masculine, 
But again, when he's not in the shadow, he holds her. He pr he provides really powerful grid work for her to land into. It's like building a house on wobbly bricks or building a house on a very, very powerful, solid foundation, right? He is that. So once we have those two come together like that, can you see it's a no brainer? It's actually quite simple, right? But we need to just break it down. So it's a step-by-step -step process. That is the practical working with the spiritual. That is the divine feminine working with the divine masculine, right? So the manifestation project, the reason that was brought about is because we have to change the game. We have to change the narrative, right? There is not one Bob being or soul who's basically sniffed at the tablets of light or which by the way, is one of my biggest offerings. This came like this manifestation project that I'm sharing with you, that process created the tablets of light tour. Yes, you can do that too. You have the capacity, if not even more so to create something on that bigger level. Honestly, you do. But like I had to go through the process of understanding like what works, what doesn't work, right? And this is how I applied it. And that that is my proof to you that this does actually work, okay? So the, the manifestation project was brought around because so many people were like, yeah, I want to come to Egypt with you. There's not one that said, oh, it's not for me. Everybody wants to go to Egypt. But what's the first thing we say? I want to, but I just don't have enough money. I'm never going to have that money. Um, I want to, but but energetically, I just don't think I'm ready for something as big as you're talking about. You see me as something I don't think I am. Like, because I'm looking at you going, you are so powerful. You can do this. You can do that. The receiver being you is like, I, I don't know. I'm still kind of in a shitty job that I don't like. Do you know what I mean? So we're co constantly coming from a place of lack. At some point, you got to get your back up off the wall. At some point, you've got to change the narrative. At some point, you've got to say no. This is a now a sacred no. When you give your sacred no, you automatically give a sacred yes. So at that point things start changing. So you then step into the game, which is the manifestation project. Then once you've applied all of this, this, this formula, which I'm going to break, break down to you, then of course, then you can start like manifesting whatever your heart's desires are. And the, the coming to Egypt will be one of them, creating your own spiritual business or whatever it is that your heart's desires there. Easy, right? It's very, very simple. And if you want to go through the videos step by step, what I will say is it takes commitment and it takes discipline. Okay. One thing I have realized that every day I create so much space in the morning so I can have my time with myself, with my guides, with my manifestation energy, and I can just move into the heart and I can just create space for that. But if you're going to fumble through your day, get busy, have a stressful day and try and do this at lunchtime, Again, this is about discipline and structure. It doesn't work there. You need to start your day off with the manifestation project. You need to value your space enough that that is the first step that you take into your waking day and know that that is important no matter what. If you start sacrificing a busy day for the for the, the you know for the sake of this this practice, then you are devaluing your space in this world as a conscious creator. So you really have to get right and once you get right with that, all of a sudden the busyness and the perceived requirements that you need to be here, there and everywhere actually fall away. You are creating that chaos, but we want to create this manifestation chaos. So we have to swap that shadow chaos for this chaos. So in the videos to come, the kind of thing I'm going to be breaking down to you is like certain things that I have done, creating an altar. You have to have a place of, of, of power. You have to have your own portal of power where every day you need to, you need to sign into that place every day and go, yes, ma'am, I am here for duty. And you, you sit at your altar, you give your prayers, you do your meditation, and I'm going to break it all down how to do that. And then from then on, it just unfolds. So these videos that I've shared with you are very much going to change the way that you understand how to manifest. And I promise you, by the time, if you apply it every day and you get disciplined and you've given your sacred yes, absolutely no shadow of a doubt that you will be coming to Egypt with me. Absolutely no shadow of a doubt that you'll then step into the Hecker codes with me because now you're ready to bring that amazing thing you've got going on inside of you online. But the thing is, my final sharing, if you want to go out there and do big things, you know you've got it inside you. I know you have because you wouldn't be watching this video otherwise. You're not going to be met by spirit in the back of the cave. I tried that as well. It doesn't work. You're never going to have spirit come and meet you to make you feel about going okay about going out there. If you're in the back of the cave, 
and you come halfway out the cave, spirit will meet you halfway out the cave, which will just be a little bit. But then if you get outside the cave, spirit will meet you there. But if you go all the way out there and you go, okay, this is me full on, full out, I'm here, and you meet them in your fullness, spirit, your guides will also do the same because it's not going to come to you. So trying to manifest from a non-commitment from your side, it's not going to work. So your commitment comes from your sacred yes, pitching up, maybe investing in a, in a, in a healing session, maybe investing in the hacker codes, whatever it might be, something that basically, uh, translates to the universe that you are indeed committing. And that might be just as simple as your time at this stage, but you get where I'm coming from. So that's very, very important. You got to get out there and meet them at the 50 yard line. And you'll be so surprised as to how easy this is. So now there is nothing left to say is let all this marinate, take a few deep breaths and then go on to the next video. And then the next one, and, the next one, and then just let me know how you get on. I cannot wait. Welcome to the Manifestation Project.